I can't. Politics. I think they blacklisted him for mm. for that reason. He's still a dope artist. There's someone I revere, look up to, love his work. Um, That's the same thing with Bob Marley because the way how he was talking, he became a threat. Yeah, exactly. The same thing with Bujo. Exactly. Wow. So, so for me, it's like you you, you try the line, and I hope I hope that people um, take example from things like that. You can you can make a statement without getting locked down. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. Yeah, we gonna talk. Jamaica has so many different genre of music, and yeah. to me, I look. I don't know if I just put certain people outside of certain genres mm. because growing up, like. Bujo, of course, first of all, let me before I even say Bujo, let me Bob Marley was like totally outside of any genre True. because you know what I mean? True. It was and his own the, thing. It was his own thing. And then Bujo too, he just on his way up, he just came out of it. He's not him. He's out of he, right. It ain't him though. You know You know what it is. What is it? Well well it's it's statements that was probably made in his songs that people kinda didn't like. But for me, it's like I don't like that 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 happened because there's many people that make many different statements in songs or poems that are might be uncomfortable for other people. But um, I love that. But I yeah, love the real. I love the real too. But there's some people that just I can't. Politics. I think they blacklisted him for for mm. that reason. He's still a dope artist. There's someone I revere, look up to, love his work. Um, it's the same thing with Bob Marley because the way how he was talking, he became a threat. Yeah, exactly. The same thing with Bujo. Exactly. Wow. So, so for me, it's like you you, you try the line, and I hope I hope that people um, take example from things like that. You can you can make a statement without getting locked down. Mm. Because it, it, it just depends on how you're doing it. Okay. Um, I have to be smart about it. So that's why you hear me talking so slowly right now. I'm choosing my words properly. As you should. As you should. Because I could say something that would throw off a whole community of people. Right. Right. On it, which I don't want. I want mm -hmm. them to listen to music too. Right. But when it comes on to what's been said in a song, there's so much things that even hip hop songs or rock songs have said that it might be considered provocative or it might be considered out of the box mm -hmm. or just attention seeking mm -hmm. as you said before. And so it's unfortunate that our little music that is such a small dot our country that has gone yes, all over impact. the world made such that impact mm -hmm. that they have to lock one of us down. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you a story about 2010 it was a big popular radio station. I was playing our music as usual in this, in New York, and I said to them, "There was they added my song again, and I was happy about that." But I said to them, "Look, this song is happening in Jamaica also, but there's two more songs that's happening in Jamaica. Those songs can be mixed with my songs. How come y'all never add two songs of dancehall or reggae on your playlist ever?" I've never seen it. I've been in this game for a while now, and you've added many of my songs, thankfully. I love it. I Excuse like that. You're me, looking out for somebody else. Yeah, because it annoyed me. It right. really did. And it made me feel like, um, almost like overlooking my own talent, mm -hmm. saying, why am I, how come I'm the only one here? Right. It is, it is lonely being on the top, but by deliberacy, it feels like I'm the only one here. How come? And you know music. There's, there's other people doing good music. You know music, exactly. and that's what was annoying you. Exactly. So, um, what, so did, what I, was their reply? Oh, you have to ask this dude. So I asked this dude. He said, well, I don't control that part. I asked that dude. And where it really boiled boil down to, everybody passed me around like mm -hmm. a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and it boiled down to, they don't have the space and time for that because a lot of what happened with the smaller genre, especially like dancehall music, they could control us and make money from us. Mm -hmm. Whereas in the big hip hop industry, 
they can't always make money off of the off of like the radio station people or the you know the DJs in the street people. Okay. They they can't they can't have a show and say biggest hip hop artists come on this show for free mm. all the time. Mm-hmm. But because we hungry, we're from a smaller place. We gonna do it. We we're gonna do it. Try to be right? recognized. And they they could so if they put more of us on, more of us have power. If they only put one of us on, they could utilize him. You know what I'm saying? So it. so it's it's annoying that way. And if I'm saying after 2010, you're telling me dance hall don't play on the radio out here no more. But that's not true. I heard Ed Sheeran, that's a dance hall song. Yeah, yeah. I heard. So it, 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 he may be singing in pr- total English, but the back drum beat, like you saw me playing downstairs, yeah. that's dance hall. And so, you know, it's unfortunate. We feel a lot of people in Jamaica feel like you, you came and took it from us. But it's not, for me, it's not that way. It's like, when hip hop started in the Bronx, it went to Queens, it go down south, it go across to California. You can't stop it. It's in Texas. Now it's growing. The years are passing. It's now a bigger picture. People in Germany making hip hop, bro. People in fucking um, France, everywhere. They have their own hip hop. Um, China. It, it's spa- it's pointed. It's spa- it's pointed to different things too. Mm-hmm. So you can't stop it. You just have to be proud of what your music did. And so instead of complaining, saying, oh, they're taking our music, I'm going to make the statement, you, you use our music, but you didn't say it was our music. But I'm not going to let that stop me. I'm no. keep doing what I'm doing. It's the only way you keep, you, you really keep in the scenario and fight to make sure that it's known, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, you, I'm going to let you out of here, but them time day, uh, the, the, the reggaeton, are you really trying to get into that or what's up? Reggaeton, yeah, I mean, as I said, the f- the following with me and the Latin um, the Latin audience in New York kind of spread, you know what I mean? And I did a song called Punky back then. Okay. And did it all in Spanish. So I did it in English first and then somebody helped me translate every word. We went to the studio, we did it over, and it was just a reach out to that community, to you know, Puerto Ricans, the, the you know, the Colombians, the, the Panamanian people who listen to my stuff. Now I'm singing in your own language. Wow. You're like, oh, people from DR, they're like, yo, and I even love it even more. So that's what I did, that was way back in 2000. And over the years, I keep, doing, every now and then, I had another song called Hold My Hand, mm-hmm. did that over in Spanish too. And um, there was strategies with the record label at that time. I was doing good in France. So they had a next version with a French lady on it with some, fr- you know, um, French kind of rapping vibes. Um, but but uh, it came to a point where people start coming to me. Hey, yo, let's do some music. Like I get DMs on people from that community. Yeah, saying, yeah. It's, anytime it's I growing see, too. Anytime I see anybody from reggaeton, or Afrobeat world. Afrobeat's another one. They're yeah. always like, bro. They're growing. But mm-hmm. you fit right in that. Bro, when I saw Davido, met Davido for the first time in England. He's like, bro, I was eight <laughs> years old. <laughs> and you were on stage in Nigeria. I'm looking at you. Yo, bro, you don't understand. Uh, big fan. So, yeah, I'm a fan of him. Yeah. So I was like, bro, now you're doing your thing. That's terrible. That's, right. that's crazy. And, um, uh, you know, the years pass, I'm older, I don't feel older, so I'm, I'm gonna keep doing my that's music. That's it, that's it. And people see that, and they're like, yo, let, let's get him to do some stuff still, so. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.